Good morning, happy Monday, everyone. Uh, well, I mean, I guess my low is the fact that as nice of a weekend as it was, it was still kind of like uneventful. And I get why. Because this is like the calm before the storm that is next weekend. Because, I mean, June 30th is literally this Friday. Starting, actually, literally, oh, it's funny, 4th of July weekend, 4th of July won't even be on a weekend day. It's going to be a week from tomorrow. But, like, everyone this upcoming weekend is going to celebrate 4th of July. And again, it won't even be on, it's going to be on a Tuesday. Although it should be a pretty solid weekend overall. I mean, for stars, we'll have celebrated, by the time the weekend's over, we'll pretty much have celebrated making it through half of 2023. That would be really cool. And my brother and his wife are going to be celebrating their seventh wedding anniversary. I mean, the jury's on if they're really going to do anything to celebrate it. But it should still be, um, it should still be good. It should still be, um, a solid weekend. Uh, let's see. My high, though, for sure was, you know, being out at the lake was, it was, it was good for a little while. I mean, full disclosure, I could have gone home earlier than what I originally intended on. But... I'm glad I waited a little longer to go. Although I will admit, I uh, forgot a couple of things as I was leaving, so I had to turn around and go get them. That was kind of annoying. And uh, speaking of my low, my ribs were still killing me. I mean, at this point, it's only been four days, so I can't really expect much progress. And the sad part is, like, Obviously, because of the pain I'm in, I'm popping. Well, I didn't take any Advil last night before I went to bed because I was trying to avoid doing it. But I'm retaining fluid like crazy. Again, that's because of the Advil. I'm retaining fluid in my kidneys. Or not in my kidneys, but like all over my body because my kidneys can't process very well. And the sad part is... Even with the reduced pain, it's actually still kind of debilitating for me. So needless to say, I'm not going to be in the best of moods for a little while. And all because I did something stupid like fall, too. I mean, really? Usually when I hurt my ribs, it's because, like, something really hard bumps into me. Or, like... One time I hurt my ribs reaching over my father's boat. That was a stupid way to hurt my ribs. Um. So. Yeah, that's the kind of. That's the kind of problems I'm having at the moment. Um. Let's see, what's my act of kindness? I would say. I would say my act of kindness is the fact that I did, um, well, before I left, um, yesterday from the lake, I watered all the flowers for my mom, which honestly, I kind of thought was unnecessary. Between the fact that I watered the flowers the instant I got up at the lake, the fact that it rained pretty much on and off all day on Saturday. And obviously I watered my flower, the wa I watered the flowers yesterday. Those flowers are going to be completely waterlogged. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I guess in a way it probably would be for the best I like, overwater them than, the, than underwater them. Because barring the fact my mom finds time to go up to the lake at all this week. There's no way they're going to get any more water. But, uh, I mean, from what I could tell, the plants are all still alive. That's a good thing. And it's, I mean, really, it's not that it's a property to do the, to water the flowers. It's just, you know, 
it's one thing I it's one thing I absolutely have to do before I can really enjoy my day. Personally, I would rather, and it's so weird too. Somehow, I always wind up getting myself dirty watering the flowers. And let's say I were to water the flowers, then do like my video, I'd never be able to like to do it proper because of um because you know I I, I try and look clean. If you couldn't tell, I try and look clean before I do these videos, you know. Um. Let's see. Anything happen this weekend? I was watching the Golden Girls for a little bit like yesterday. That was that was some. One of the Golden Girls. Uh well I actually did hear one very one piece of rather disturbing news regarding Spider Man Beyond the Spider Verse, which is supposed to be coming out in March. Um Problems at the studio that make that movie are rising. Which could lead to either a pushback or the movie getting canceled outright. It's a real shame too. Because right now, Across the Spider-Verse is like the number one animated movie of this year. At least box office revenue wise. I mean... Wow, no one saw Elemental. That stuns me. I mean, granted, I saw The Blackening and not Elemental, so... In a very, very, very tiny, modest-like way. I'm part of the reason why. But still, no one saw that movie? I wonder if it was because, like... It was the same weekend The Flash came out. Okay, Disney, Warner Brothers. I don't have to choose between either one. So, I watched The Black Lane instead. That was about half of the reason why I did it. And probably because The Black Lane was the better movie to come out that week. <laughs> that too. Speaking of movies coming out soon. There's like several movies coming out over the next few weeks that I am pumped for, dude. I'm like really pumped for. I mean, one movie that, one movie I am not really entirely pumped for, but I would like to see how this is handled, believe it or not, is Ruby Gillum, or Ruby Gillian, Teenage Kraken. Because I see the trailer at every time like, hmm, Good to see that DreamWorks clearly still doesn't have any animosity towards Disney. Seriously, the mermaid in that movie looks exact. It's clearly Ariel in like a design. That's clearly what it is. And of course, you know, but from the people behind Shrek, you know, Shrek who calls himself the big stupid ugly ogre, talks about. The big, giant, terrifying monster underneath the sea, a kraken. So, although from what I hear, that same studio that makes Ruby Gillum is also the same studio behind the Spider Verse movies. Maybe I should see that movie just to support that studio. I could. Although. Hold on a second. I have an idea. I left my computer over here. Excuse me? Okay. What movies are coming out which weeks? Because there's several movies I'm definitely seeing no matter what. See this Thursday. Oh, Ruby Gilman. 
It should be Gil Min, Teenage Kraken. Okay. That's what's coming out this week. So that's already coming out. Ooh. And Indiana Jones in the Dial of Destiny. Hold on, do I have one of those movies that Rotten Tomato scores yet? I gotta look this up. Uh... Wouldn't it be funny if Ruby Gilman actually um, grows higher than the Little Mermaid? I would find that hilarious to me. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, Jones already has a score. Ooh, a 61. Okay. What about Ruby Gilman? Eighty? Okay. Huh. Maybe I might go see Ruby Gilman, folks. I don't know. I think I might. Okay, so I think I know what my plan for this week is. I'm probably going to go see Ruby Gilman. All right. Maybe. We'll have to see. Um, actually, what's going on? Okay, so that's this Thursday. What's next Thursday? Um, oh, okay, so not this week, but next week we get Joyride. I really want to see Joyride. Uh, let's see. On the 13th. Oh, Mission Impossible. I am so seeing Mission Impossible. That for sure I'm doing. Uh, let's see. Ooh. So the week of the, uh, so the week of the 20th of July, we get Barbie. And Oppenheimer. Well, bro, Oppenheimer's, Oppenheimer's three hours long? Damn. That's insane. That means there's a five o'clock showing. Meaning, best case scenario, you're gonna get out at like 8.45. Do I go see that movie? I don't know. I mean, it's between that and Barbie, I don't know. Uh, okay, we get Haunted Mansion the final week in uh, July. Hold on, what's August? Uh... Huh. Looks like it's kind of, uh... Oh, wait! What am I thinking? It's the first week of August! We should be in Ninja Turtles! Oh, dude! Like... Seriously, I know summer is obviously, you know, blockbuster season, but there's a boatload of movies coming out over the next few weeks. And I'm going to have to really plan ahead as to how I'm going to be able to watch and see them. That's crazy. Actually, do any of those movies have... A joyride. Holy joyride has a hundred percent of Rotten Tomatoes already. That's insane. Okay, um Okay, nothing on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh Okay, I should probably stop. Okay, so Barring anything else happening, barring anything else happening, yeah, I think I might actually go see Ruby Gilman. And I just mentioned earlier how I'd be seriously. If what I just read earlier about the stuff about Beyond the Spider Verse being true, then 
I might go see Ruby Gilman just to support it. Really. I just might. I mean, listen. At the end of the day, the only reason why studios make the movies that we love to see is because we go out and see all of their works. You got to support them any way you you gotta support them any way you can. That's honestly why, like, if you really want to stick it to the man regarding, like, a studio that you don't like, or regarding a director that you don't like, or an actor that you don't like, just don't go watch any of the stuff they do. Seriously, when you talk about something on the internet, good or bad, people are going to go want to see it. If it's good, it's because, like, ah, oh, you thought it was good. Let's see, let's see why he thinks it was good. If you think it's, if you say something is bad, like, wow, that must be really bad. I gotta check this out to see just how bad it is. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. But, yeah. For the moment, seeing Ruby Gilman might actually be a good idea. I'm going to have to think about that for a moment. It actually has a higher score on Rotten Tomatoes than Elemental does. At the moment. So maybe. I'll let you know what my plans are later this week. I hope you all like this video. If you did, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on social media. As always, I am very holding this video for all of you guys watching your video. We'll be have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Monday. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk to me, I'm here to let us back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby. Also, sorry if, like, the next couple of Monday videos are going to seem rather uneventful, except for maybe this upcoming Monday. It's just, we're not going to get into One Piece manga chapter for, like, a few weeks. So, bear with me.